Um, but let's look at like a number seven. Got this nine plus five r, and then we have nine is mine r. I'm just going to scoot it off to the side and and just talk about the nine plus five r. Uh, so explain to me a mistake here. Yeah. Um, nine doesn't have a variable, so they can't go together. Okay, nine doesn't have a variable, so they can't go together. All right, let's get to the, like the full on 100% truth of why they can't go together. Because, well, what if it did have a variable? What if nine had a variable too? Now it has a variable. And now can they go together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. What we talk about here will help us when we talk about this. Jenna, you had an um, answer? Is it like 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 terms? Okay. English. They're not like terms, right? Yes. Yeah. That's what you meant. Yeah. I imagine. Okay. How what does that mean though? What does it mean that they're not like terms? It Aside from having a variable or not having a variable, what makes them alike? They both have a variable, then they can be worked together, but if they don't, then they can't. Okay, let me ask you, let me put it like this 9r plus 5r is 14r, right? Yeah. Not 100, 14r. 14r. Okay, so yes. But other than just saying it has, what's that? What? Hmm? I'm talking to her about a very important thing. Don't matter. talk to her about a very important thing until you're not here. Okay? Uh, other than saying, oh, it has a variable, can we explain why 9r plus 5r is 14r? It's, it's not very complicated. Why 9r plus 4, 5r is 14r? Yeah. 9r around with orange plus 5r around with orange makes 14r. Okay, r stands for Ramathorn? Yes. Ramathorn. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's 9 Ramathorns and 5 Ramathorns, 14 Ramathorns. I don't know what a Ramathorn They're the same thing. In fact, there are nine of a thing and five more of the same thing. Okay, if we were to make it more, well, boring, I guess, is there's nine of these things, and the only thing that we know about that we don't even really know what R stands for, it's just nine R's, right? So here they all are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's nine R's. Now, it's not enough to just write nine R's next to each other, because actually, if I just write nine R's next to each other, what am I doing with all those R's? If you just saw R's, nine R's written next to each other, like what, what, what am I supposed to do with these two R's? In what way? Let me get another screen. If I just write an R next to an R, What's implied that I'm doing with those two R's to each other? Multiplying. Multiplying. It's implied that if I just write something next to something, I'm multiplying. So this would be R squared. So let's jump back here, really slowly. Um, I have nine R's here. Am I multiplying these R's together? No. I'm doing what with them? Adding. adding them. Okay, so I'm adding nine R's together. Add. So I'm adding nine R's together. Then I'm adding, I'm adding some more stuff. I'm adding five, what? R's. R's. Plus R plus R plus R plus R plus R. So all together there are what? 14 ramifons. 14 ramifons. But in this example, are these nine R's? No. They are nine of something. Ramey, what are these nine of? Nine. Just nine ones. Did we do this last class? No. These are just nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones added together make a nine. Plus, what do we have here? Five what? Five R's. Five R's. Whatever R might be. So when I look at it that way, I see nine ones <coughs> collected together with five R's. Do I have 14 somethings? No. It's kind of like the 
fractions with different denominators, they're different things, and they can't be put together. Well, the fractions, when we, when we make them have the same denominator, we can't. There's nothing we can do here. We can't make ones into r's, we can't make r's into ones. Mm -hmm. Mostly because we have no idea what r is. It's a mystery. If r just happened to be one, well then we have something, but they're not. So we don't, we don't know. So what's 9 plus 5 r? Uh, well, it can't be simplified. It is 9 plus 5r, but that's it. It just stops there. So there's the 9. Well, what do we have? Here we have 5r's and minus 9r, like uh, 9 negative r's. Right? So I put these 5r's with these 9 negative r's. What do I have? 4 negative r's. 4 negative r's minus 4r. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not going to put the 9 with the negative 4, just for the same reason we didn't put the 9 plus 5r. We didn't put those together. Okay. Jen and Rick, the eyes, stop making them each other. Okay? No more eyes. Um, oh, here was another thing that is a pretty common thing that I see. Let's take 2, for example. First, I'll show you real quick what it'll be when we combine it correctly, and then I'll show you the, the common mistake. We got b's here, we got b's over there. We got b, 1b, minus 2b, is how many b's? Negative 1b. Negative 1b. Or negative b, I don't have to put a 1b. Then yeah. we have the number negative 3 plus 6 three. is 3. Yeah. So there's two mistakes I see here. I'll show you the first one. Yeah. So b minus 3 plus 6 minus 2b. I see this next one a lot. I see like uh, plus 3 and plus 3. So b plus 9 minus 2b. Okay. So it's not complete crazy talk. It's just that this person's brain is a little confused. What do you think they're confusing this with? Uh, you can only do that when you have uh, equal signs. We're doing something like this when we have equal signs, right? Yeah. Something like it, not exactly this. Think about this. I gave you this to start with, and then you add a 3, and all you did was add another 3. So really what you've done is take what I gave you and add a total of 6. So 6 came out of the sky from somewhere, from the heavens, from nowhere, added 6, and now this is what it would be if I added 6 to what I gave you in the first place. It's just that they took the operation. Well, here's 9, right? What it should be is negative b plus 3. To get from 3 to 9, I'd have to add 6. So in total, we did add 6. 3 of it canceled out this 3. The 3 more made this 6 plus 3, 9. I see what you're Well, this, what this is, and we could do negative b plus 9. This is wrong, by the way. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's 6 more than what it should be. No, no. I was it's just saying, it comes from 3 and 3. Instead of canceling it out and stuff, going over it, it, they didn't do the operation of positive and negative. Uh -huh. and instead, they just added their 3, which made it 9. Yeah, uh, yeah, OK. That, you could wind up with the same thing. I think if somebody added the 3 and the 6, they'd probably get minus 9, which would also be wrong. Yeah, that too. But the thing that the that I think that they're probably confusing it with is that they're mistaking it for an equation. If this were like b minus three plus six minus two b equals something like ten, then you can do this. Then you could add three, but to both sides. I still can't add three and add three on the same side. But I can add 3 to both sides. Okay. How come we can add 3 to both sides and it doesn't change anything? So what, what you do to one equal side, you have to do the other. Like if you, so like when you add 3 to negative 3, you like cancel the 3 out, mm -hmm. then you have to add 3 to the other side. Right. What if I don't add 3 to this side? Then it's going to be wrong. Why? That I don't know. Okay. It's pretty simple. An equation 
is a, is a thing that is the same on one side as it is on the other. Here's a picture of a thing that's the same on one side as it, in, as it is on the other. You know what that is? Scale. Scale. The way this scale, well, there's different kinds of scales, this scale works by putting the same weight of stuff on one side over the other. Now, if it's all balanced out, and I put three on this side, what happens? It goes down. It goes down on this side. But what if I add three to this side, too? It's still even. Right? It starts even, it needs to stay even. Both sides need to be equal to each other. So that's why we do the same thing to both sides. If I cut this side in half, well, I better take half of this stuff, too. If I subtract 7 from this side, I better take 7 from this side. Otherwise, it's going to be all off. All right, so moral of the story there is don't get confused. Don't confuse this with an equation where you do things to both sides. There's no both sides to this. It's just an expression. Something else that I see a lot is b minus 9 minus 2b. What did this person do? Just added 6 and 3. Added 6 and 3, got 9. There's a negative, negative 9. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if we didn't have an order of operations, then who's to argue with that? But we do have an order of operations. Right? You're going to go from left to right, subtract 3, and add 6. Because that's not the same thing as subtracting 9. Subtracting 3, then adding 6, or negative 3 plus 6 is the same as positive 3 see a picture of it, I can think of being at B. There's B. And subtracting 3, going back 3, and then adding 6. Going forward 6. So I'm just 3 to the right of wherever B is. All right. So now, let's do 9 through 15. See if we if we approach those. Will we make those same mistakes, or have we learned from our mistakes? Let's take a look at number eleven. Thirty-five minus one plus forty-six. <coughs> so we're making. I saw the same mistake as I pointed out in number two, where somebody winds up with. This is supposed to be n. Thirty-five n. So you wind up with 35n minus 47. What does this person do? What's that? Oh, they added the 1. They added 1 and 46 and just say, okay, minus 47. Yeah. But it's way different from what would actually happen if you took something and subtracted 1. If I started somewhere and subtracted 1, that's subtracting 1, and then add 46. Adding 46 would take me way out here. Yeah. This would actually be like 45 to the right of where we started. Where we started was 35n. Now we have 35n plus 45. So remember that this, this, we can see this is a minus one, we can also see it as the number negative one. Negative one plus 46, it's positive 45. And um, one other thing. Um, for number 10, 4b plus 6 minus 4. Six what? Six numbers. Uh, six numbers. Which numbers are there six of to make six? One. Yeah, six ones. I can go together to make one. Six. Six ones. One plus one plus one. So just gonna, just one plus one plus one plus one plus another one. That's six. Six ones. What I'm trying to get you to think about is what are these things? What am I trying to have ten of? Right? And there's four. B's here. 
b plus b plus b plus b. If I try to add four b's to six ones, do I have 10? Do I have 10 b's? Do I have 10 ones? No. There's not 10 of anything. There's four of the thing and six of another thing. So that can't be right. But there's six ones, and then there's four also ones. Can I take ones from ones? Can I add ones to b's? Or can I take ones from ones? No. Can I take ones from ones? Ones from ones? Yeah. Yeah, I have six ones, and then I have four negative ones. I can take a one from a one, a one from a one. What we're left with is four b plus two. So those like terms, but the like that they are is that they are the same thing. They are like things. Okay? Not just that this has a B on it, but that it actually is four Bs, and this is six ones. And Bs and ones are not the same. They're different. So we can't put them together. Now, we can multiply them by each other, because I can have like six times four B. Things don't have to be the same to multiply them. I have six groups of four Bs. How many groups of Bs would I have then? Well, six times something just means that six thing. Times four. Yeah, the thing six times, right? So if I had six of these, which I do, if I had six of these, then how many Bs would I have? Yeah, 24 Bs. It is as simple as multiplying six times four. This is saying I have four groups of Bs. This is a six groups of four groups of B. If I were to list it all out, I have B, another B, a B, a B. There's one group. And here's another. There's two groups. We're going for six here. Now we're up to four. If two more, I'll have six. Right? How many Bs are there? Four B, that's four B. There's six of those. Twenty-four B. All right. Now let's move on to sixteen through the end. Okay. Uh, number sixteen through twenty-two. Use something called what? Do you remember? Distributive. The distributive property. So in order to simplify, if I didn't know about the distributive property, I just wouldn't be able to do anything like uh, number 20. Negative 7 times k minus 8 plus 2k, you would say about the distributive property, I need to add these together. I need to combine these in the parentheses before you multiply by negative 7. But they're different things, so very smartly, I do not add them together, they're not the same thing, they're not like terms. So I don't combine them, if I can't combine them, I can't multiply them by negative seven, right? Except for, we have the distributive property. Let's talk about the distributive property. Let's say we want to distribute five, three, plus eight. It's like, here's a kind of an example of the distributive property working in an intuitive way. We could add eight and three. In this case, we can't add these two things together. Eight and three are? 11, and five times 11? Five times 11 is 15. And what? Five times 11? 55. 55, okay. So, five times three. Five times 11 is 55. The distributive property says I multiply five by three and five by eight and add those together, 15 plus 40, 55. Same. Well, no one likes 11. Yeah, is that what you're yeah, talking about 11 in a bad way? And you're gonna feel bad that nobody likes it? Yeah. It's evil. Why? Because it's two ones. So? One is the worst year for a child. One is the worst year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like their age? Yeah. Oh. Because they so? don't know what's going on. They're scared of everybody. 
Also strong. Don't you want to have children one day? No. Hey, hi. So I can either add these together, multiply by five, or multiply each of them by five and add them together after that. We can see that it works, um, but that is that's not really uh, verification or proof. It's just one example. So let's look at the distributive property for something like five times x plus eight. I'm going to use a, a rectangle. First, tell me how I could use a rectangle to show you this multiplication problem three times four. <coughs> I've done it before. Area. Area. Can you help me build this rectangle? Three and boxes to the left and four boxes down. Like that? No. Yes. And then three times four would be the, you said it? Twelve. Twelve. Area. Area. What, what are there 12 of inside that rectangle? Cubes. Cubes. Oh, that's a little, that's one dimension too far. Squares. Squares. So, 12 squares fit in this. The area of a rectangle she can show me multiplication. Okay, we're looking at multiplication here, the multiplication of 5 by x plus 8. Okay. So, let's make a rectangle. Instead of 3 by 4, it'll be 5 by x plus 8. How do I make this side x plus 8? x plus 8 is x plus 8. 8x is 8 times x. How do I make that side look like x plus 8? Eight lines, okay, so like one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. All the rest is x. The rest is x. Good. Here's eight. Up to there is, let's call it eight. And from there to there, we'll just call it x. Even though it looks like it's four and a half or five, that's where we have to kind of use our imagination. Let's just call it x. Is this side x plus eight? It's not x times eight, it's not x divided by eight, it's not eight divided by x. Because if this was say that this was 2, if this x was a 2, how long would this side be? If this was 2 and this was 8, how long would this be? So it would be how far? From here, if this was 2, from here to there, how long would that be? If this was 2? 10. 8. And then keep going, 2 more, that's a total of 10 point that I want you to make, especially is that it's not 16, right? It's not 8 times 2, it's 16. If this is 8, and then I put x right next to it, the total is 8 plus x more however much x, x is. So if this were 4, then this whole thing would be what? x were 4, then from here to here would be how far? 12. 12. Okay. So we have them together. So this is, well, it's 8 plus x, but is 8 plus x the same as x plus 8? If I put x over there and 8 over here, would it be just yeah, as long? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. So, 8 plus x, x plus 8, whatever. Well, I can easily, like we're talking about the area here, right? So I can easily find the area of this rectangle. What's the area of this rectangle? 40. 40. It's 5 on this side, 8 on this side. I don't know... What, the, what x is. But how would I find the area of this rectangle? Base times height, right? Yeah. What's the base? Uh, uh, four. Well, are you talking about eight? It's four. Because x would be four. Okay, so now, now x is just x. x isn't okay. any specific number. Yeah. Now x is back to being a, a non-specific yeah. number. Yeah, it's x. From there to there is just x. You don't know how far x is. You have to forget about wanting to measure it and telling me how long that is compared to 8. Don't worry about that. This could be any length. It's just x. It's just a variable, unknown. Okay. And how long is this? And this is x. And so what's base times height? 
5 times x, 5x. Okay. Is 40 here? How many squares fit here? 40. How many squares fit here? 5 x of them. I don't know what number that is. How many all together in the whole rectangle? Five x plus forty. I only write it in that order now because it's right, just, but just because it looks like I distributed this five. Five times x, five times eight. We can see the distributive property in this area of this rectangle. So, as we look through these last few on this worksheet, and then we look at um, let's pick a kind of a simple one like. Plus 7 times 1 minus 3b. Okay. So, the first question should I add 1 plus 7 and get 8? Why? 1. Should I add 1 plus 7 and get 8? No. Why not? Because the 7 is being multiplied, right? And the way that I would multiply is to distribute. So this 7, should I add it to 1? No, because 7 is multiplied by this, and multiplication comes before addition. Now we distribute the 7, and so now if I distribute the 7 to 1, 7 times 1 is 7, and 7 times negative 3b? become 8 minus 21b is, what is that? That's it? That's it? It's not like negative 17b, right? Why is it not negative 17b? Or sorry, yeah, 13. Negative 13. Why is it not negative 13 B? They're not the same. They're not the same. These are ones. These are Bs. Can't put ones and Bs together. Okay. So we don't think 3 minus 8 is negative 5 because negative 8 is being multiplied and we multiply before we add or subtract. And how do we multiply this negative 8 by the parentheses? Distributive. The distributive property. All right, so when I distribute that negative 8, what do I wind up with? 56 and 40. 56? 40. Like plus 56? No, minus 40. Negative times positive is a negative. 3 minus 56, and then what? Negative 40. No, positive. Positive. Negative times negative, and positive 40n. Here we have some n's, and we have a bunch of 1's that we can put together, so negative 53 1's plus 4n's. Okay. One last quick question on this, number 18. How do I handle this problem? Collect like terms. Which like terms? Two P's. This P's inside of parentheses. Should I do something about that parentheses? Yeah. Why? Distribute Distribute what? Four. Four. So if I would read this, it would, it would say negative 4p times 1 minus 6p. Is this negative 4p being multiplied by this parentheses? No. In between there, if I were to say it with words, I'd say negative 4 times p minus the parentheses 1 minus 6p. So I do not distribute the negative 4p. No, no, it's not multiplied by these parentheses. 
Okay, so we can put a negative 1. So just like this was 3 minus 8 times the parentheses, this is negative 4p minus 1 times the parentheses. Yeah. So we can choose negative 1. Yeah, that will just have the effect of flipping the signs, really, because negative times positive is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 6p is positive 6p. Now we've breaking them out of the parentheses. We can take 6p and subtract 4p. Can you turn this way? Oh, yeah. seen that in the, your hand again, it's going to be easy other than I can see it being used as a calculator. 6p minus 4p is 2p. And there's a minus 1 that can't go with anything. ones and p's and they can't go together. Okay. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay. was when we did 6p minus 4p. this in a way because there's x squared right that's x and another x and here's another x so we're looking at three x's right Th this is three x's but let's think about it for a few moments more what does x cubed mean do you have the answer to what x cubed means yeah what x times x times x exactly you have more to say about it no i have a question wait so we have x times x times x, that's what x cubed means. Everybody agreed on that? We take something to the third power, it means multiply it by itself three times. What does x squared mean? X times itself. What does x mean? <coughs> it just means x. So here we have three x's and here we have three x's. So why isn't x squared plus x, x cubed? Because we don't know the value of like that x, I guess. Well, well it can in a sense, but I mean, if, well. Technically, it'd be okay. Because x, no, because x times itself is not the same. Right, so the difference is, though, we do have a, a two x's and another x for a total of three x's that we're looking at. And three x's we're looking at here. We have x times x plus x, right? Plus, plus. So there are three x's here and three x's here. Uh, this last x is being added, and this last x is being multiplied. Right? Does that mean that people don't do this? No. They do it all the time. Okay. So why are bringing it up? If nobody ever did this, it would be really silly for me to bring it up. Okay. Okay. This happens too. Sometimes I get two x. Sometimes I get two x squared. Sometimes I get two x to the third. Because there's a 1 there, and there's a 1 there, and you want to add them together and get 2. Okay. But can someone take a stab at why x squared plus x is not 2x squared? Um, 
sec. Why x squared plus x is not 2x squared? Let's say I had a b plus b, I would get 2b, right? So there's no, there's no 2 here, but when I add 1b plus 1b, I get 2b. You learned you? You burned me. Okay, so the equation for the second cloud be x times 2. These are not the same. That's something else to talk about. Is it because you have to, like, I don't know how to say it. You have to, like, do the exponents first before you add them together? Like, up there, you have, uh, you have uh, x2 plus x. Ah. You kind of, I don't know, I'm thinking that, but you add those together because there's no 2 on the other one. There's no square here? Yeah. If there were, so if there were an x squared there, that would be 2x squared. Just like b plus b is 2b. Okay. All we have to think about is what are these things? There's one of these and one of these. Xylophones. Okay. Well, it's going to be kind of hard because it's going to be a xylophone times a xylophone. What's a xylophone times a xylophone? A bigger xylophone. It'd have to be like a, a square xylophone, so we'd have like a xylophone. Like that, and then it's maybe a xylophone here. In the middle is a xylophone times a xylophone. <laughs> I don't know what that would look like. That would be weird. So, squared things. If x stood for like maybe inch, maybe that could make more sense. Inch by inch is an inch square. It comes down to these things are just different things. They're literally in different dimensions. So an x square. Right? And x squared is, well, it's a square. It's x on one side and x on the other side. In the middle would be x by x, x squared. This x is just x. It's just like a side of a square. Can you add a square to a line and get two? What would there be two of if I had a square plus a line? Would be two of something? I don't have two of anything. I have one of one kind of thing and one of another kind of thing. I don't have two of anything. I don't have two squares. I don't have two lines. I don't have two of anything. So it's just the apples and oranges thing. They're two different things. They cannot be combined because they're different things. They're not like terms. They're not the same thing. They're apples and oranges. Puppies and kittens. You can't add them together. Well, so what do we do with x squared plus x? The only way, yeah, the only way we could kind of move forward is if we knew what x was. But until then, it's not x cubed, it's not 2x squared, it's not 2x, it's just x squared plus x. It's all it can ever be. You, can't, you cannot combine them at all. What's that? If I said simplify this, you would say, Right. It, it, is it is simplified. Now, on the other hand, if I had x squared times x, it's different. I'm not really combining them here. I'm just, I mean, simplifying, but not really adding together, combining them. What's that now? Changing the operation. Yeah, we're changing its multiplication. So this is, you know, a totally different thing. Can I multiply an x squared by an x? Can I somehow make a new thing? What's that? Well. Oh wait, no. Is it x cubed? Yeah. What does x cubed mean? Why? Hmm? What does x cubed mean again? x times x times x. Is this x times x times x? Yeah. Yeah, it's x times x times x. It is x cubed. It's three x's being multiplied together. OK. Um, just a real quick question. What if I had like 7 times x plus 5y plus 2? Can I still use the distributed property? <coughs> oh, wait. Uh, I don't know. What problem is that? Wait, yes. Wait, you made it up. Made so it up. Be 7x, 7x plus 35 on it. Uh huh. Plus, plus 2. That's right. 14. Oh, yeah. You can distribute.
contribute to a, a theoretically an infinite number of terms inside the parentheses. Um, I'm going to give you one last thing, one last thought. Uh, this is just part of number 10. Clearly, is something supposed to be distributed, right? What is supposed to be distributed through these parentheses? 2x, the whole thing, 2x. Right, when I multiply 2x by 5x, what do I get? 10x. 10. Well, 2 times x times 5 times x. 2 times 5 is 10. What's x times x? Is that our bell? 2 x squared. x squared. x squared. 10x squared. Yes? What would happen if I Well, we should only have this one left. Why do you want us to put that one? No, hold on to it. Don't be silly.